Hey, so I'm going to tell you my quick prediction for winter 2020. I think it's going to be just as busy as the summer or spring. One. Hey, thanks for tuning in. So this week's video, we're going to look at the winter market, especially with the way 2020 has unfolded. The winter market this year is going to be acting very differently than the previous years that we've experienced before. So the way this video is going to go is we're going to look at 2019 as an example and as a comparison. We're going to look at the first half of the year and the second half of the year of 2019 and see how a typical market unfolds. And we're going to look at the trends and see where the highs and lows are. And then we're going to fast forward to 2020 and bring it to current time. We're going to look at the first half of the year again from January all the way to June. And we're going to see the impacts of the coronavirus and the shelter in place affecting the Silicon Valley. And then after that, we're going to go from June to October to bring us up to current date. And we're going to watch everything unfold. And we're going to look at some of the highs and lows. And I guess my prediction of what 2020's winter is going to look like in comparison to what we've seen before and the kind of buyer trends that we're seeing in the market right now. So as we go forward, we can prepare for the winter season and kind of reass reassess our, our expectations. So let's jump into 2020 and let's take a look. So as we see here, 2020 is following a very standard curve, right? It's very slow in January and kind of creeps its way up as we get to the summer. You're going from 500 homes in February to 1,000 homes all the way out in May. So you're seeing an increase in inventory, which is standard as you get into the summer months. Now, fast forward to the second half of the year of 2019. So when we're looking at 2019 as a whole, we're looking at around 8,100 transactions completed in Santa Clara County just for single family residents. And compared to that, we're, the average price point in Santa Clara County was around 1.5 million. So it's, it's a very healthy market, right? You're seeing a lot of transactions happen and you're seeing a steady increase uh, in price over time. And it kind of holds, which is really good in the winter. And now jumping to 2020, in the first half of the year from January, February, March, you're seeing a steady incline in inventory, right? Price even increases a little bit, which is all perfectly well. But of course, 2020 happens and coronavirus takes place during March. We have shelter in place and more or less everything comes to a grinding halt. So after March 2020, April and May have a steep decline. You're seeing way less transactions. But what's interesting is price holds, right? So I want to keep I want you to keep this in mind that price during the peak of the pandemic, when no one had toilet paper, hand sanitizer was out everywhere. The price in the Bay Area for Santa Clara County held, right? A lot of people assumed that there'd be a very steep price drop and the housing, the housing market would have a crash. But we're looking at the data of this year and we're seeing that is not the case at all. Jump forward to June, we see a massive spike in volume being sold. Come June, are we not only seeing almost a doubling of transactions from the previous month, we're seeing price continue to climb. So as we enter the second part of the year, July, August, September, October to current, we're seeing price not only hold, but increase as well. On average, the average sale price from July to August is around the $1.7 million mark. Where you're looking at the first half of the year from January to June, average sale price was $1.6 million. So what does this mean, right? Because we're looking at these huge numbers this past month was the best month going all the way back until May 2018. And even then, average price point was still higher, but they had sl that month in May had slightly more transactions. So in 2020, July to August, we sold around 4,000 homes. And to give you a, an idea of how well this second half of the year is doing, we're going to compare it to 2019. And in 2019, from July to December, we only sold around 3,400 homes. So even though we're only four months in to the second half of the year, we've outperformed all of 2019 during the winter. So what does this all mean? When we're looking at the latter half of 2020 and comparing it to the first half of 2020 and all of 2019, what are we realizing? What trends are we noticing that buyers are doing because of the impact of the coronavirus and shelter in place? The buyers that would have bought in the spring and the summer that were kind of on the fence and not sure have decided to buy, right? The interest rate was so low and it, it motivated them to go out and buy a piece of real estate in Santa Clara County. 
So we're not seeing the tapering off in volume that we were used to in 2019. What we're seeing is all the buyers that waited in the beginning of the year and were unsure are now very certain because they're, the people around them are also buying and they're seeing an extremely low interest rate. So what does this mean for winter? What I'm predicting is that we're gonna see equally as busy of a winter as you would say a normal summer. With a continued increase in volume and an increase in average price, that means homes are still getting bid up. That this massive blow to the real estate market never happened like a lot of people predicted because they were realizing that the stock market, the real estate market do not run parallel to each other. They may have some overlap, but they are not the same entity. So as we get ready for the winter market and we round out Halloween, I'm happy to help with any questions that you may have, or if you need any more data specific to your county, um, I have that available. And during for the research of this video, we did look at other counties like San Mateo and San Francisco counties, and they, they're very similar. They follow a very similar trend. And so it's not unique just to us, but this is a Bay Area market. Uh, I, 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 I hesitate to call it a phenomenon, but it does just show the resiliency of a market that we can still survive a coronavirus a market crash and you know fires and all the other mess that 2020 has uh, brought to our doorstep so if you have any questions i'm happy to help and please feel free to ask i'll see you guys next week thanks